subscribe to our face-to-face communication system. So we have now the report double weevil written in terms of light intensity R. So let's see what's happening at the receiver. At the receiver, we need to detect our beam or our intensity. We have two detection methods, the heterodyne and the IMDD. The heterodyne is the coherent one, and the IMDD is non-coherent detection scenario. Okay, but we need first to rewrite the heterodyne. Okay, we need to rewrite the heterodyne PDF and the IMDD PDF in terms of signal to noise ratio rather than the intensity I. So now, so we can derive the system performance metric, the error rate, average probability, and the product cover. So now we have two PDF model to reform double weaver model written in terms of alpha, instantaneous signal to noise ratio. What we have done after this, we combine these two new PDFs in one unified mathematical model. And again, there is no one done this uh, in the literature for double weaver model and pointing error model together. Now, after we have the unified mathematical model, now it can easily derive the now, sorry, we can easily derive the outage probability, bit error rate, and the uh, ergodic capacity. This slide now includes the mathematical model. So we need an accurate and valid mathematical model. So we have a one named reform double weaver, taking pointing error and atmospheric turbulence into account together. After that, we need to rewrite this model in terms of signal to noise ratio for both detection techniques, heterodyne and IMDD detection technique. And to make it easier, we combine these two models, sorry, these two PDF models together in a one unified PDF model. As we can see, we have a new parameter, R. R is the unification parameter for the unified model. So if we choose R is equal to 1, we deal with heterodyne detection. R is equal to 2, we deal with IMDD detection scenario. And the other important factor is the mu R. Mu R represents the average signal to noise ratio. So for heterodyne detection, we have a mu 1, and for IMDD detection, we have a mu After we have the unified model, we, we have the ability to derive the formula for average probability. Average probability needs not only the PDF, it needs the CDF. So we integrate the unified PDF model to get the CDF. Okay. Out it means that when the instantaneous signal to noise ratio alpha falls below a predetermined value alpha threshold, the system will flag an outage state. The bit error rate gives, a gives an indication for the system equality. And finally, the ergodic capacity determines the maximum uh, data rates that can be sent there for the system, or simply the channel, the channel capacity or channel capacity. And these three, uh, these, these three uh, performance metrics are unified because it came from a unified Valid model, valid means here it's valid from moderate to strong turbulence condition. And accurate because it takes the uh, validate our new reform model with the simulation results. Okay, we conduct two types of propagation, plane wave propagation and spherical wave propagation for our laser beam. And for each type of propagation, we have two modulation and demodulation techniques, heterodyne and IMDD scenario. For each one, for each of these modulation and demodulation methods, we have three system performance metrics, average probability, bit error rate, and ergodic capacity. In case of plane wave and so <coughs> In this work, we have four main cases or four main camps. 
The first two one is moderate to strong turbulence conditions, and the second with or without pointing error effect. So, if we take a look here, we have around 50 care to discuss, but today we will not discuss these all figures. We have selected some care or figures to discuss. All these simulation results done with the software named Mathematica. Let's start with the outage probability for heterodyne modulation technique for a plane wave. As the noise ratio here, the outage probability will become slower. So the system will be here more stable than. Okay, as we can see here, greater than equal to 6.7 for the red here means. This case for negligible pointing error. Okay. For case, uh, this case is for negligible pointing error and moderate turbulence condition. So it, uh, it has the minimum outage probability here. As we move to strong turbulence condition and high pointing error effect, we have the orange scale as the highest outage probability in the case. The best error rate.
Gamma, 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 gamma. As we can see here, the moderate gamma, gamma gets 